back. Just like that, the magic, it is back. The magic has come in. And here's the great part. We're doing this without Mountain Dew. We just, we just magicked right in here and we're just going right into your screen, right? Into whatever you're watching, if you're doing from your handheld device or your PC, or if you're going all gangster and watching it on your big TV, that, you know, so hey, good on you, man. I watch YouTube on my TV too. So. Uh, we're doing some more of the update or some more whatever. We're actually here with the car. The last update was with all the time slips and the track videos, and, or not track videos, but we've been to the track and stuff. And I'd also like to say that for the intro, I pirated a bunch of that video. It's from Kevin on his channel, Nimrod1769. So, you know, pirates over there and uh, his brother. Um, uh, and if you've already seen it, his brother has a GT500, which he has already sold. It's already gone. It's going to sweep. Can you believe it? Jesus Christ. Um, you know, uh, David's on there with his car, and uh, both of those guys have got their cars running pretty good. So, anywho. Also, I would like to thank everybody that, you know, we've been gone for seven months and a lot of comments, you know, the return, you know, the, or not say the return, that we put up a video and, you know, the outpouring of, you know, of positivity and glad you're back. I mean, it's, you know, that's, it's heartfelt. So, it, you know, on my end, it's, you know, I just view it as just a stupid channel and just do the stupid stuff and it's just a bunch of garbage and, you know, I think it sucks and it's, you know, just bleh, all the time. But you guys like it, so hey, I, I, you know, I, I appreciate it. You know, it's one of those things. I don't do Facebook or Instagram or any of that kind of stuff, so I'm not out there injecting my, myself into all these groups and stuff. So whatever, we just do it. We do it right here. We keep it on the two. So, so it's just us. It's very uh, intimate. Um, I should only use that word recently. Anyway, all right, cool. Uh, also, real quick on the comments, uh, a lot of people commented. Um, a lot of the YouTube people, you do the hearts on their comments and stuff. I've really kind of refrained from doing that in the past, just whatever. I, I like like comments, but that you don't know if it's me liking it. And I guess if you, you, I've always said if you're good enough to comment, then I should be good enough to answer. And obviously, I'm not doing a great job of that. Uh, so if I heart your comment, I have read it. Um, if I don't reply to it, I mean, it's not, it's just one of them things. Sometimes I read something, I have to think about what I'm going to say and then reply back and I get sidetracked and a bunch of stuff going on because this, this thing right here operates all kinds of wonky sometimes. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what's going on with that. Um, I guess that's really it. We should just kind of look at the car and kind of talk about what we've done to it since the last time you've seen it. People have questions about the car and stuff like that. As far as the weight loss thing, it's not, I wasn't sick. There was no sickness. There was nothing involved with that. I haven't had COVID. I wear my mask like a good sheep and all this kind of stuff, so I've been fine. I just laid off the Mountain Dew and, uh, or soft drinks in general. Um, I don't, I'm, I drink sweet tea, you know, I still eat hamburgers and I still eat, you know, pizza and whatever. I just don't snack as much and I don't, uh, I don't eat a ton of fast food. I've kind of really cut back on that a lot. And um, I've started jogging again or I had started jogging again and stuff like that. So it was really, uh, you know, Teresa gave me the, Hey, uh, you know, worried about your health a little bit. You're not exactly 30. You know, you're 52. That may be the new 40, but whatever. So you need to kind of, you know, get yourself kind of whatever. And hey, she, you know, she's right. It's, you know, this is more how I looked when we got together, <laughs> not what I became. And so I get it. So it's cool. I'm fine. I like doing it. You know, I like, you know, I feel lighter. It helps the car out. <laughs> so, um, that answers that question, anything about health or anything like that, it's all good. Um, so let's look at some stuff we did to the car and I'll get you guys off your body. I'll take your head with me and just kind of rip it off and uh, we'll get we'll look at this real quick and then we'll wrap this up. And I'm not gonna do a bunch of crazy editing so we just get it out really quick and I'll be really happy this video was easy to do. Okay. All right, one of the first things we did was we changed the headers. We went uh, to the one and three quarter, one set of one and three quarters. They had uh, those old one and five eights. You guys may remember. There's the mufflers that I had on it, stuff like that. We went to one and three quarters. We also went to a, a two inch carb spacer. There, I mean, whoopie do from the one and a half. And what that did was, and we ran into some better weather. So um, what that did was, we also, I'm sorry, my bad. We also put uh, the other water pump on. 
and because uh, our Moroso one gave up or Mr. Gasker or whatever it was, it died. So we put the, the Mazir on there. Uh, having said that, that thing's like 11 years old and still works like a champ. So it's been a really good pump. We put that on. We got a lot better air, and that got us in the sixes uh, basically all night long on that. Um, then the next, one of the next things that we did, and I'll just, I'll just not try and put it into what happened at what track event, but this is the other thing we did. We changed radiators. This is part of our massive weight loss program. We changed radiators, uh, plastic tank, you know, stock replacement style deal from, you know, AutoZone or any of the chain stores. And uh, we put a little bit, a different fan. It's a little bit light. The whole package is a little lighter. Um, we pulled basically all the wiring out of the car <laughs> and just kind of rewired it ourselves. Um, we have headlights, we have fan, water pump. We went to a um, 70 amp one wire alternator. Uh, that is a bracket thing that I cobbled together. And we went one wire. Um, we also went uh, manual brakes. Basically we took the drag brakes off the Blue Dragon and we put on this car. So it now has the aerospaces on it and we, um, we've had our sealed up air pan, even though maybe nobody's really noticed that. We've had that. We, uh, ba, 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 ba. let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, we lightened up the front bumper some. It still looks stock, which I like. It still looks stock, but we lightened it up. Um, nibbled some weight out of it. We changed seats. We went to, uh, this isn't a Kirky. Uh-oh. What's up? Yo, 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 my man. He's hanging. All right, people been asked, a few people asked about what a kid. He's alive and well. He's chilling. He's sitting in the executive chair. So um, this is a Jegs. It's a knockoff. It's not a Kirky. I can't afford a Kirky, and I damn sure can't afford a Kirky seat cover. Holy crap, those things are expensive. Uh, we went with that. No weight loss. It was basically a wash, but it is super comfortable for me. I love the driving position. Um, we got the... Uh, Jeg's bracketry with it, and I love the driving. It's super comfortable. We also put in a um, uh, a different steering column. You can see that we got this one from uh, Midwest Chassis Works. It's uh, Motion Race Works makes a super nice one. It was just a little bit more expensive. Not a little bit. It was more expensive. We've also got a uh jones steering wheel this thing weighs less than one pound it's aluminum and it's got a uh all-star quick release on it we went three bolt it was cheap this was this whole deal was way cheaper than doing a, a fancier wheel because i don't need all the buttons and all that kind of stuff um, we've also got the line lock on it um let me walk around the car real quick we did some other stuff we still, see, we still got everything in the car from the track we blasted the rear doors out no one's ever going to ride in the back of this car i know some people freak out oh my god it's a race car well guess what it's a race car that i drive on the street i drive it's tagged it's insured i drive it anytime i want to wherever i want to however i want to uh we um move the battery again we also got a, a, a mind-boggling like almost two pounds from this bracing so for all the people that are saying gut the trunk lid it'll be super light uh yeah thanks um didn't work out like that <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. All right, here is our little tiny 15 pound battery. It works fine, it starts fine, it charges fine. It's low cranking apps, but we've got a low compression 302, so it's not working hard. It's gonna be hard to see here because I don't have the lighting, but here's our uh, DIY do it yourself uh, wiring stuff. Of course, it looks kind of like a rat's nest, but. We lost a bunch of weight on the wiring, probably about 10 pounds on that deal. And we also relocated our MSD. We put our two-step stuff up here and uh, got our shift light deal, um, activator and all that kind of stuff. Um, some other people, con somebody commented, I got a new driving jacket. Yes, I did. The other one was uh, ten, over 10 years old. It's about 13 years old. So it's time for a new one. Plus I got, I got to knock an X or two off of the... Uh, um, tag so that was sweet uh we also moved the gauges put switches up here to turn everything on and all that kind of rigmarole so um pretty happy with how it's all turned out it's worked good we've had we've had this stuff in here for a while now the last track trip you may recall that i was um you know a little upset about 
some, about some stuff that happened, like with the two-step deal. Well, that was kind of self-inflicted. Yes, I've returned. <laughs> but I'm sorry, did he just say self-inflicted? Self-inflicted is an excuse. You were in the car. You had the steering wheel. You had the shifter. You had the clutch pedal. And as Dr. Fear always says, and I only tell the truth, a miss is a miss. And now that you've endured that, you can just hear what actually happened. Uh, we had we had used autometer pills before, and they've got a bigger prong on them than an MSD pill, and it had widened out the uh, female part of it, and so actually the two-step connector, the module connector was kind of hitting in there. Um, we have now fixed that and we've also secured that panel. It was actually just kind of wedged in there so when I would launch the car it would sometimes it would fly out. And again, that's all my fault and I know it. I just, you know, I'm an idiot sometimes. As people are quick to remind me. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much, we've got some more stuff coming for the car, coming up for the car. Um, we'll show that. Oh, change cam. I said that, we put that uh, Crower cam in that we had um, and really didn't, sh we only, well, I can't even say it didn't show anything because we haven't, we, we only made one halfway decent pass and then the rest of the night was garbage, so whatever. I mean, it ran, well, yeah, no, we ran it. It, it actually ran good, but it wasn't any faster than the X cam. But the weather wasn't as good, so like I always say, off the shelf cam in a small block, mild, four, whatever, man. Pick, take your pick. It's they all run about the same, it seems like. Uh, so we got some other stuff coming. Um, and while I do proclaim, you know, the budget channel, this car is, you know, not super budgety in a way. I mean, some things it is, some stuff you got to spend money to get. We have some more stuff planned for this car, some more weight loss. Uh, we'll have our Flowtech heads ready to go on here pretty soon and uh, right in time for the heat of summer so I, I don't know we, eh. we're really working on this car focused on this car not working on anything else because stuff's just sitting around here um, so anyway all right well, that, this is already going to be super long so I guess that is it that is the update for the LTD you've seen all the time slips you basically see all modifications also someone has asked about the T5 that's in this car and I, I have it listed it, the combo's listed in the description it's a ProMotion T5, but don't get that twisted like it's some kind of super awesome T5, because it's not. It is not even a Z-Spec. It is essentially a stock T5. It's a stock main shaft, and they put a 295, like you would buy from China or whatever, a 295 gear set in it. That's all it is. It's not, you know, uh, special gears, special cut, any of this craziness. This, this transmission, was brand new, was like $1,200. A Z-Spec costs more than this thing whenever my buddy bought it. And I've had it apart a couple of different times now, so you can basically say that it's a, my, I put it in there, whatever. Um, it does have clutch support, got billet keys in it. It's still 10 spline. It's, it's not anything crazy. It, it is a 295 trans, but it ain't some super duper, oh God, that's, oh that man, that's a, uh. you know, it's, it's, you know, this thing's doing work. And it's got the Slipmaster 1000 I bought used from a mirror, garbage clutch in it. I mean, Stuff's just working good. I mean, it ain't me. It's just, it's a bunch of junk that works pretty decent together. So what can I say? I just keep whipping it to death. It's a little short block and just killing this thing. So uh, anyway, all right. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, thanks for subscribing. Ring that bell and hit the like bucket. You guys know what that means. Hit that like bucket or hit the down bucket. Let's get the downs up. Get them up. So anyway. All right, uh, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, and until next time on the substandard box body leader on this here short enough YouTube, it's my house, substandard. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah, I guess there'll be one. Yay! Too many yays in this video, too many yays.